Wow, that's funny. In the picture, there was a bumblebee. And there was just one there. Yeah, and there was just a bumblebee there a second ago. I just realized that. So this guy is a bull thistle. And I'm going to read you some stuff about the bull thistle. Which I'm sure will you'll find quite interesting and surprising. So, my camera helper is going to take this away. And here we go. Okay, like other thistles, this showy immigrant is edible, but it does take skill to deal with the sharp prickles. Bull thistle is our spiniest species, and it should always be handled with gloves. The young leaves and stems are said to make excellent salad greens or cooked vegetables, but first they must be peeled of their spiny outer layers. Usually the roots of first year plants are eaten either raw or cooked. The best thistles taste like artichokes, but even tough, bitter, older plants can be eaten in an emergency. Most animals avoid these prickly plants, so thistles can become troublesome weeds, but also have or but also abundant survival food. Thistles are very important to goldfinches which eat the seeds while gathering fluff to line their nests. Come, oh, Circeum comes from the Greek word swollen vein, Opa. a problem one thistle was used to treat. And the scientific name is Circeum vulgare. Distribution. Eurasia naturalized from Newfoundland to Alaska to Texas. Pick freely. Blooms June to September. Yeah, alright, so these are edible. Most plants, uh, let's see. Where did it say about the roots? Usually the first, the roots of the first year plants are eaten either raw or cooked. Does this look like a first year plant? Yes. Yeah. Alright. No. Yes. Now, no. only problem is how to dig this thing up, being quite prickly and whatnot. And apparently, the stems and everything are edible. There's a smaller one there. That is a smaller one. Right. There. Now the stem, I don't know if I'll be able to rip this out. Do we have water? Yep. Okay, so we can wash the roots off a bit. Alright, I'm just gonna dig in here with my trusty Swiss Army knife to loosen up the soil and hopefully get the roots out all in one piece. I'm gonna try I'm not gonna to take sit. my bag off. What? I'm gonna try not to sit on one. Yeah, don't uh. be sitting on thistles. It's not the best seeding material. Now, I don't know where this ground has been or what was previously used here. There's a jail right there, Brampton whatever correctional place. Ta -da! So I don't know if there's been like something else previously here on this land. That is fine. Although I think it was probably just farmland because there's some farmland down there that the jail probably bought off farmers or something. So there's the enchanted forest that we just came out of. Yep. And I'm just gonna go for this. Damn. No roots. There's one little piece of root. Alright, I see the main tap root. Let's see if I can dig it out. A lot of the areas where these common weeds grow is in not the most fertile soil and stuff like that and they're they grow in very clayish harsh areas 
So when you're digging for roots, like things from Queen Anne's Lace and stuff like that, it's very hard to get the roots out. You usually need a shovel or something. I did I'm, not win in my purse today. Yeah, unfortunately. Her purse was almost big enough, but it's just a few inches short to fit a shovel, so. Uh, He's stunned, speechless. Are you all right? That was a very small bite, <laughs> but it actually tasted fairly pleasant. Just tasted like pretty much what the book describes, like fresh vegetables, pretty moist and juicy and stuff. <laughs> There's some roots that are usually more uh, harder and tougher. That wasn't too bad. Don't want to lose my knife and sit on it. Telephone. All right. Yes. Wait. My cell phone is frogs and music. <laughs> and thank you, Thistle Plant, for that sample and demonstration. We honor your being and hope that you go good for educational purposes. Now I'm going to answer this. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? All right.